Dude, that thing looks crazy. It's, what's that called again? Uh, it's the Z-Man Hellraiser. Hellraiser. It just came out this year. Damn. I mean, that might have won an award at ICAST. I have definitely not seen a bait look quite like that. All right, guys. We are at a golf course pond, obviously. Joined by Peyton and Patrick. Two subs out here. And we're going to run a big fish challenge. Nothing fancy, straight up biggest bass wins. It's 4.30, we got like two hours until it gets dark. And uh, you know what? I didn't actually bring anything for prizes. So what I'm gonna do is offer $100 cash to whoever wins today. We got, uh, I think uh, one of your friends is gonna join us too. Yeah. So we'll have four people in this challenge. Biggest bass wins. And let me see what you're throwing here, right here, man. This is the Hellraiser. This bait is pro, okay. So it's about half an ounce in weight. This is all metal, chrome, and shiny. And let me see the action. Let's do a short cast right, right quick. Let's see what we're looking at here. Interesting. So it's like a chatterbait on top of the water, would you say? Yeah. All right. Well, you gonna you gonna you think you might catch something on that? Probably not. But <laughs> I'm gonna try. Yeah. I respect that. So because you're gonna fish that crazy bait, I'm actually gonna have you wear this GoPro in a second. Right. Then what what are you starting with, Patrick? A whopper, whopper. All right. So you're going. You're thinking yeah. top water too. So, See if it's on. Okay, so is there, is there a good top water bite in this pond? Or? Usually there has been. Okay, gotcha. So. That's good information. Well, best of luck to you guys. And I'm actually going to use something that I've never quite used at a golf course pond. Let me show you guys. We are going to fish with my Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box Bass version, which I've actually never fished at a golf course pond, amazingly. I'm going to be counting on MTV to provide me with the tools that I need to catch the biggest fish today. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what we got to work with. Like Christmas every single month. Oh my gosh. Bro, I got something crazy right off the bat. Hyper Plastics Siebel Creations. It's a purple worm with a chartreuse. Now, if we fish into the night, this might play a factor, but right start things off, I don't know about this one. This is a medium diving crankbait. How deep is this pond? So Payne just said just ponds over six feet in the middle, probably close to 10 to 12, maybe the deepest point. So this, this bait might play a factor. It dives to 3.5 to 6.5. That's actually pretty lucky. Nice color pattern too. Got some stickies hooks from Carl. Got some Excite baits, a oh, purple creature style bait, translucent. This would be good for clear water. Got this, what the heck is it? I've gotten some really cool stuff this in this particular box. Oh, this is a little top, oh, this is a little, what is this? A little, I don't even know what this is. A little spy bait? The heck? Oh, I still don't know what this is. I'm, I've been looking at it for a second. Overside props, fall. Okay, so this is actually like a mini spy bait type deal. Are there shad in this pond? Uh, no. Okay, no shad. Well, it's got this just in case. Oh, nice. Finally, a football jig. So I've got some nice options right here. Some very interesting baits. I should do it. This is the rig. Plus a 3 8 ounce Guggen green weight. This is pretty crazy looking, I'm not gonna lie. We'll see how it does. We are fishing a golf course after all, so the amount of pressure is gonna be less than average. Bluegill right there. Been seeing tons of bluegill blow ups. No one's landed any fish. Patrick got the first hit on the top water. What I'm thinking is fish shallow. We got a nice cloudy overcast day. Cast at a 45 degree angle and kind of work this riprap we have right here. I'm sure there's crawfish in it. Hopefully these bass are looking to uh, looking to feed. There's number one. I'm on. I'm on, baby. Woo, hit that crazy purple bait. There we go, guys. First fish of the challenge. Hooks pop right out. There you go. Bait number one down. And this is probably not gonna win. This is about a one pounder. Well, one pounder is in the lead. Let's let you go, buddy. Thank you, my friend. Boop. Came right on the edge. Right by the dam, the dam, I suppose. Well, let's go ahead and uh, 
choose our next bait. We'd like to give a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Morgan and Morgan. Morgan and Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and over 800 lawyers. And here's the thing, you don't pay a single penny unless they win your case. No upfront costs, no sign of fees, none of that. All the expert witnesses, research, paperwork, negotiations, court hearings, it's all free unless they win your case. If you lose, you pay nothing. Guys, people often feel bad about suing, but when you sue for an injury, you're not suing the person, you're suing their insurance company. And their insurance company is sitting on billions of dollars. There is absolutely no reason to feel bad about getting the compensation you deserve. And check this out. Morgan & Morgan has attorneys that work in every area of personal injury law. Car accidents, slip and fall, workplace injuries, medical malpractice, nursing home abuse, and more. Let me tell you guys about a really bad car accident that I was in when I lived in Columbus, Ohio about 10 years ago. I was driving on a completely sunny day, going through a green light through an intersection and I got T-boned by a drunk driver at 11.30 a.m. Airbags deployed, my car was totaled and I was left with a pretty bad back injury. I needed months of physical therapy, tons of medical bills, and I had a fair amount of pain and suffering. It was an absolutely terrible experience. I, of course, ended up suing the other driver for all the medical bills, all the pain and suffering that I endured. And in the end, I did not have to pay a single penny to my law firm until I won my case. If you're ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless you win. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash one rod or dial pound law. That's 529 on your cell phone. Thank you guys so much. Now let's get back to the video. Got some information on this pond. Let's go ahead and pick out bait number two and see if we can't upgrade and extend the lead here. Hit on the bottom. So you know what? I'm thinking, you know what? Ugh, do I want to use this bait already? It looks pretty crazy, but we're going to whip it out. Hyperplastics, weighted hook, five out weighted hook, crazy purple worm with a uh, chartreuse blade. Let's check it out. Gosh. Holy moly. This is why I love MTB. I never even thought that a bait like this could exist. And now I'm holding it in my hands. I'm about to fish with it. And who knows? It might catch me a Mondo. So this bait's pretty neat. It actually has a slot exactly where the hook is supposed to go. Going to lube it up. So it slides through the hole a little better. Don't want to tear anything. Now we'll get it right up on the shank. And at this point also has a slot, I believe, which is right down here. Oh yeah, pre-drilled hold. Gotta love it. Yep. Wow, that was actually really easy to rig. Now, the one thing I like, or the one thing I don't like about this bait is this plastic is quite firm. But it is hollow, so hopefully this doesn't affect the hook set too much. This is the rig. Let's go ahead and throw it in the water and see what it looks like. I'm assuming it's going to look pretty crazy. We got stained water, so you guys might not be able to see that well, but let's go ahead and see if you guys can see anything. Oh, wow. Okay, straight off the bat. Holy moly. Oh, let me show you guys what's up. Okay, that should be good. Ooh. Check this out guys, look at this. Look at the blade turning. That free spinning chartreuse blade actually looks really good in this stained water. This worm actually has a beautiful shimmying motion on the way down because of the weighted hook. I know I was dogging on this bait a little bit at the beginning, but no joke, I think this might be the best bait in the box. first cast with it so I guess oh yeah I can really clearly feel that blade thumping 
whenever I lift the bait up. So because it has action on the way up and it has a shimmy motion on the way down, I'm just gonna do a lift and pause retrieve. Let it lift up a little, wiggle a little bit, and then settle on the way down. What's up guys? What's up man, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. And what's your guys' names? Kyle. Uh, Kyle and Michael? Yeah. Well that'd be really easy to remember Michael, since that's my yeah, name. Right. But yeah, so the, uh, we're doing a big, oh yeah, we got a third guy, what's Ryan. your name? Ryan. Okay, I'm gonna try hard to remember all y'all's names, but we got, <laughs> so now we got six people in this challenge. We're doing big fish wins straight up, and I'm gonna give $100 cash to whoever wins. Sound good, guys? Sounds good, yeah. right, What are you all starting with? Let me, I'm just curious. I, uh, I got a tire on. I got a Okay, yeah, rig up. I got a jig. Jig, nice. I too. Okay. I got a sink. <laughs> all right, well, we got, I heard we don't have that much space, so this will be a, a bit of a competition we have on our hands. Yeah. And we got, what, like an hour till it gets dark? Yeah. So, hour and a half. Yeah, hour and a half. Roughly, yeah. But we'll continue a little as it gets dark, and we'll uh, let the best angler win. Good luck, all guys. Right, sounds good. All right, guys. We've got a party now. Six anglers fishing two small golf course ponds. This is the first pond, which is the big pond. I haven't even seen the small pond, which is over yonder. Got one fish caught so far. It's, uh, let's see, what time is it? 5.20, let the games begin. Ooh. Oh my freaking gosh, I got smacked. I was swimming it. I was freaking swimming this worm. That's insane. That's absolutely wild. I'm fishing a worm like a freaking crankbait and I got smacked. I knew that freaking plastic would hurt me. The hook didn't get exposed. I'm gonna leave this hook open like this. Get back out there. Oh, you got one? Well, someone's on. Let's go, dude. Woo, Patrick's on him. Spider. No freaking way, bro. Yep. You're telling me using a spider you got that thing. Yep. Just twist it Look over, at that. over the log. <laughs> let me let me just see that freaking oh my gosh, dude. That's freaking nuts. Holy moly. How are you working that? Just twisted over the log and he blew up on it. I was I was surprised. 1.6. Okay, you guys call it one and a half. One and a half. Good job, man. There you go. That takes Bang. the lead. The yep. It's so, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't win. <laughs> yeah, I would I would be shocked if that one wins at a golf course pond, but you never know. It seems like the bite's a little slower than usual. There she goes. There she goes. Oh, oh you can see this one off yep. too. There she goes. Nice. Where's that log that you're casting at? Over there? Yep, that one right there. Okay. I mean that's one of the few laydowns I've seen here, so it makes sense that fish was hanging on it. Hold on a second, guys. Just got back to my spot. This a giant pull up either that was a golf ball or those nice bats. It might be turning on. 360 no scope it. I'm on it. Whew, come on. What? Oh nice man. Whoa. Fish number three of the challenge. Whoa. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Actually, that might that you have the scale. Might take the yeah. Oh, yeah. What'd you get him on? Nice little Senko. Oh, you can't beat a Senko in a pond. Exactly. I, I like your color choice too. Thank you. Stained waters. Yeah. All right. All right. One point eight two. Eight or eight five. Eight five. Eight five. Right there. Oh. Eight. Eight five. Eight five. Yep. Yep. All right. Hey, you took the lead. All right. Good job, man. Thank you. I watched your release. All right. Do you fish this pond often? Uh, no, this is only my second time here. Actually. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Good job. Hey, he's got the lead. 1.85. Just under two pounds. All right, we're running out of daylight. Just getting, getting some bites now. I have a good feeling that I could probably get something to hit that crazy purple worm in the next 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, he got one. How big is it? Oh. Let's see what we got here. Let's take a look. 1.71. Wow. 1.74. Right. So 1.85 is in the lead. Yep. How many fish have been caught today? Four? Four, yeah. 
I got one, you each got one, and Patrick got one. You have any bites yet over there? No. I had five, no. one on the jig over there. Okay, gotcha. I think, I think I'm gonna change it up now. So. Gotcha. So, you fish this pond a good bit, right? Yeah. Is this a slower day than average, would you say? Uh, or about? Yeah, it is a bit slower, and over there it was much slower. Normally you have like six in the, really? in the small pond. But. Okay. So, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, guys. Some, oh yeah, let's get the release. Yeah. Nicely done, good job. Nice job, man. Thank you. All right. Sometimes fishing's a little slow. You gotta find a way to catch them no matter the conditions. I'm thinking today might be a game of micro ounces. <laughs> that two pound range is hard to crack right now. So I'm actually gonna change my strategy a little bit and try something something that I don't think I've seen anyone thrown yet. We'll see if it helps out. You know what, I'm doing the spy type bait. This bite's a little bit slower. This is more of a finesse type bait. And I'm actually very curious because I've actually, ooh, ah, it's light. And yeah, the prop does spin in the middle. This is a very finesse type bait, but you know, the bite's tough. I can cast it. Let's give it a shot. What, what was that? that, was a that was a Wait. You kidding me? Bro, you almost just got nailed. So wait, how much would that hurt if you got hit? I don't know, that would not feel good. Like if it's anywhere but your head, you'll probably be all right. But if it hits your head, that could be pretty bad, couldn't it? Yeah, he's going off again, so. Are you going again? Oh, I got, bought, oh I, I, got, I got the smallest bass on the planet. Holy bejizo. Yo, I'm gonna duck behind this tree for cover. But yeah, you guys better watch, bro. Oh, oh, that guy. He almost, hole oh, he almost nailed that hole. Holy moly! All right, guys, I've got fish number two of the day. Too bad it's not a small fish contest. First cast though with this little tiny spy bait type deal. Is that a bluegill? No, it's a bass, man. It's like a two ounce bass. See ya. I think that's the first time in mystery tackle box history that I caught a fish on the first cast from one of the baits. Good stuff. I'm gonna keep it on to see if we can't get another one. Let's go, Michael. Woo! Did you catch one too? Yeah, I got the smallest bass on the planet. Yeah, it was like three inches long, bro. It was, it was tiny. I see one too. Oh, yeah. What was it, 1.85? Oh, bro, what the heck is going on here? My legs got cut oh. <laughs> Dedication. That is dedication. <laughs> now, I'm gonna tell you, hey, let's take a look. Oh, yeah, I think this, this fish will put you in the leaf. Oh, the spider! The it's working spider. today. Jeez. That is nuts. It's my ride or die lure. <laughs> I respect that. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's gonna be close. I think you're gonna beat it. Too. You gotta beat 1.85. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. What do we got? Oh, oh, he got it. 1.94. 1.94. You've got Thank the gosh. lead. <laughs> it was worth the effort. <laughs> yeah. Those scrapes. Might hey. you might get the hundred? Who knows? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> In the lead, and, and at least you know the spider's working. I'm sure. Yeah. You, I'm sure you're not taking that off today. No. Oh my God! Look at you. I know. <laughs> yeah, he got. I should put. I have pants on. I don't know why I'm not wearing. Them. <laughs> oh, beautiful fish, just under two pounds. Good job, man. Thank you. All right, Patrick's in the lead. The fishing is just heating up more and more. We've gotten like three fish in the last ten minutes. I think we just got to cast and wind and uh, see who's gonna break that two pound barrier first. Bro, I, oh, I got one. Oh, it's another baby. Yo, I think these fish spawn. I think this is the fish I spawned this year. Oh, it's a bluegill. Holy crap. Oh, that's not going to help me. All right, this bait is the multi species winner for the bluegill category. All right, we're taking this off. We're going, we're going big or going home. Uh, what options we got left? We got the crankbait uh, or the jig. All right, F the jig. I'm feeling crankbait. I'm getting action on that other moving bait. It's so tiny and finessey, it's getting all the strikes. This actually looks like a perfect bait for a little pond. Oh, it's a major craft bait. I haven't thrown a major craft learn like years. Whoo, this is, this is good stuff, man. Nice. All right, now well, it's hopefully bringing me some good luck. These hooks are sticky sharp. Hopefully I don't drag too much junk on the bottom, but we'll give it a shot. All right, first cast with the crankbait. Praying that I don't drag the bottom too much. It's making, it's giving a ton of wobble. Oh, that's the bottom. 
Didn't catch anything though. I think the bottom might be cleanish. Oh, this could be good. It'll probably look like a crawfish digging right in the bottom. Nice bright red color. It's getting dark. Let's go. All right, Ryan's got one from the small pond. Yeah, you, you ain't got no lead weights in that fish, do ya? Oh yeah, oh, that's over too, yeah. That's, that yeah. one's definitely a little bigger. All right, hold it up. 2.02, oh, 2.02 right there. Just over two pounds. There it is. New lead. What, he's got one too? <laughs> Bro, you guys are popping off. All right, we'll get the release and run over there. Hey, you might, you may or may not, you may have had the lead for just a second, but we'll take a look. Good job, man. What, what bait was that on? It was on a spider. Spider, you yeah, spider too? <laughs> Bro, it's a spider bite. Oh, let's go. Oh, he lost it. Oh, no. Yes. All right. What, is that Ryan? Yeah. All right. He said he lost the four of them. Oh, my God. He lost. Bro, come on, Patrick. Oh, snap. This is crazy. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to have to go check out the small pond. We got to see what's going on over there. Yo, this pond is tiny. This pond is super small. Holy moly. Geez, I don't even know if I can fish this bait in there. Oh, the fish just swirled on it, bro. It's the top water bite. I just had a fish swirl on my, I'm fishing a crankbait. I'm just letting it sit on top of the water. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 he got off, no! That was a three pounder. Holy shiz, though. Dang it. It hit me two feet from in front of me. Holy bejizo, guys, look at this. I was grinding the riprap with this crankbait right here. Three pounder nails me. One head shake is gone. Time check, we have three minutes till the challenge ends. That is tragic. Oh, bro, that was a tragic four pounder you lost. What happened? Tell us what happened. I set the hook on him. I was in an awkward situation. <laughs> yeah. How and the I, legs doing? And I still, couldn't get it done. They're still bleeding? Forward. Oh, yeah. They're definitely They're looking a little forward. bloody. But so th what happened? You just couldn't land it or what? Couldn't land him. Okay. Oh. All right. So that means the winner is Ryan over here with 2.02. Yeah. .02. You're lucky, bro. Both me and Patrick <laughs> had game winners that got yeah. off. But hey, that's the way. That's what happened. So I actually don't have any money. It's in my car. My car. Which way is the car? It's up there by that. Okay. Okay. So hundred dollars to the winner. And you know what? Why don't we do an extra twenty dollars to whoever gets to my car first? Let's go! Which I don't even know where I'm going. Which way is the car? Oh, you got it pretty fast. Dang, and Steve, who ended up? Steve. Oh, bro, he's going after. Hey, good run, bro. What's you? You guys must be playing soccer, soccer or something. Yeah. Both of you guys play yeah. soccer. We all do. Besides. Oh, you all play soccer. <laughs> I'm giving you each twenty dollars. <laughs> you each get twenty dollars. That was that was impressive. All right, where's the uh? Let's divvy out the winnings. $20 to, uh, what's your name, bro? Kyle. To Kyle. $20 to, what's Patrick? Patrick, Patrick. Patrick you didn't win the 100, Wait. but you got the uh, the 20. And then where's Ryan? Right here. All right. Yeah, count on 100 uh, for me. Thank you. Count on 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Thank you. All thank right. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. So much. All right, guys. Appreciate, appreciate the uh, challenge. Of course, Good of course. fishing to everyone. You too. And you know what? Why don't we run it back with the same squad sometime in the future? And do a crazy lures fishing challenge. Oh, man. Sounds good. You got it down? Yeah. 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 Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to use code one rod ten at Shop Carnals. Get your very own mystery tackle box. Perfect gift for any angler, any species, any age, etc. Thank you for watching. Catch you next one. Peace.